Hey everyone, it's Queen, and I'm here to welcome you to the Queen and Pops experience with myself and Pops from DYWTSB, the Did You Write This Stuff Pro podcast on the Midwest Sports Network. Welcome, everybody, to another exciting episode of Queen and Pop's Experience. As you know from the last time we met, I'm not allowed to pick matches anymore. And Queen's in charge. I'm lucky to be here. Thanks for coming. I'm doing this very, very calmly because I don't want her to execute me through my computer. (laughs) Say hello, Queen. Well, hi. So glad I have ownership of this show because today we're bringing you, well, we, uh, I, (laughs) and Pops is here by proxy, out of my grace as a benevolent queen, uh, we're going to be watching from the very first NXT TakeOver Brooklyn from 2015, the Bailey versus Sasha match, which you can get past their little promos at 113.02. This is a really fun match. We have both seen it before. Correct? Yes, it's been a while. It's been a long time. This is a very special thing and kind of apropos, given everything that's going on in the universe of WWE at the moment. Um, by the time this comes out, it'll be long past. We may have some resolution to the Sasha Blue Hair storyline. We don't know yet. But a very exciting stuff. And this was a really, really good match. So I'm excited to watch it with you. I think I'm allowed to be excited, too. Oh, my God. Stop. You can be excited. (laughs) Actually, I do want to thank you and everybody else who didn't answer her wanted new co-host ad that she put out. (laughs) Uh, Yeah, this is fun. This uh, match, I think, in my opinion, really solidified that the women's division in WWE was going to be a division, not a joke. Um, And... We can go back and we can say that, you know, the Charlottes and the Beckys and everything um, definitely helped with it. But this one, this particular match to me, made me believe that they can do something special. Yes, I totally agree. And I'm really excited to watch with all of you. Of course, it is on the WWE Network. If you don't have it, I don't know, maybe you can find it somewhere else. But for those of you who do have it, we're going to hit play at 113.02 in 3, 2, One play. Oh, man. What a great, great takeover this was, too. Yeah, start to finish. Really start to finish a beautiful takeover. Oh, God, look how young she is. I don't know how many takeovers were before this, um, but this was Um, really one of the first ones that I paid attention to. Yeah, me too. I mean, they had a couple, but it wasn't really at the level like this is. Um, they had a they had a fair they had a few, um, but the first official takeover, the one that, oh well, actually I guess the one that doesn't count there's one that doesn't count as a takeover but technically was their first quote unquote pay per view style, um, very interesting oh she's the hugger haven't seen this Bailey in a long time isn't this crazy? You know we haven't seen this Bailey. <laughs> The entire time she's been on the main roster, if you're, if we're being honest. Yeah, for being honest, yeah. I mean, that's very, very true. Um, this this girl, I don't know where she went, but it's been a long time. Well, I'll tell you what. This girl, I believe, watched three of her best friends move up to the main roster while she sat for about six months longer than she should have. Yeah. Um, so before this one, the first NXT TakeOver to... Three. They had a takeover in 2014, the Fatal Four Way in 2014, Revolution. That's the one I'm thinking of. Takeover uh, Rival, Takeover Unstoppable, and then Takeover Brooklyn. So that's technically what was before, but this was like the one that was the most. I'd say of the people who watched NXT from the beginning, this was the one that felt most like what we know now as takeovers today. It's very uh, similar to that. 
I never noticed that she was wearing the uh, Dusty Rhodes polka dot headband. Oh, yeah. Good call. Well, look at this. I mean, this oh, right here, like boss. this, that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the boss that I've wanted on the main roster since she came up. That legit, with the entourage of just big, solid dudes behind her. With just yeah. a cocky demeanor, you know. But we got cocky demeanor boss. And, like, boss of what? Like, like, look, she rolled up in with a, with a Escalade and, and these dudes around her every week. I never would have said, what are you the boss of? Because I'd have been afraid to ask. Yep. You know. So. We're getting her back. At, yes. I mean, look at that smile. She's just a gorgeous woman. She's beautiful. Altogether. She is. And she gets it. Like. Oh, yeah, honey. You know, and I got down on her for the four months she sat. I did. And I and I don't think I was down on her because... I think I was down on her because I missed seeing her. More than anything. Mm-hmm. Um, whatever the reason, she decided to take the months off. It's proving that uh, it was the best decision for her. Absolutely. It helped her reset mind, body, and soul, it looks like, you know? Mm-hmm. You could tell she feels good at least uh you know as it looks when she's on tv the past couple of days she did a lot of things in those four months you know and and this speaks to the the point of you know what we discuss a lot people need time yes they don't always need to be in your face on tv this is something that people can benefit from us as fans and them as as performers they can have more longevity in their career it's good for your mental health to just take a whoop, you know? It is, but at the same time, it's not. Because if you're not on TV, you're out of mind Well, uh, on most of the fans. Unless you can be as polarizing of a figure as Sasha Banks is. Because I was just thinking about this the other day. Where's Lacey Evans? I completely forgot about her. You know? I don't really care. So, (laughs) Um, I mean, listen, their plan backfired with her. She should have never been brought up from NXT. They could have built her. They could have really gotten her out of that green thing, and they could have let her flourish and and fly with NXT. And their their women's division could, I don't want to say could use Lacey, but she could have really cut her teeth there. And they made a mistake. Period. That NXT women's title that... That Sasha carries on this one is so beautiful in its simplicity. Mm hmm. I love it. Just look at her. She's trying not to laugh at Bailey. She is. And, which is realistically what she's trying to do is not like over smile the fact that they're in a main event spot. Yeah, that's crazy. I miss this. <laughs> I just miss this. I miss yes. Great Bailey. I miss Boss Sasha. And I'm glad we're getting a version of the boss back. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um But I miss this Bailey See? the most, I think. Because I knew the boss could come back. That's not hard, right? Right. Bailey, I don't know what happened. Bailey had a long string of really crappy opponents. Mm. And it really showed her weaknesses. Sure. Um, I think it's almost the same thing like right now we're seeing with Becky Lynch. Mm. Um, she is a good worker, but needs a better wrestler in the ring with her to have her elevate. Yeah. And I think Bailey. I think Bailey is the same. I think it's a little too early for the Hogan comeback, but. It's all good. The intensity that Bailey shows in this match is something that I miss. Yeah, really intense, Bailey. Yeah. Gritty Bailey, down brass tacks here for business for that title, Bailey. You know, that's that's different. We don't see that with her, even though she's the champ right now. Right. I want to see that again. That core strength that Sasha had to do that set up for her. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Core and legs. Yeah. God damn. This is some good shit. This is what this I this is, is what I miss from NXT. This right here. Mm-hmm. This is it. 
get her, girl. I mean, not that I don't want them to have opportunities up on the main, but there's something so special about NXT. Being at an NXT show at a, at a takeover, it's a different vibe. It's a different feeling. And I can imagine from what I hear being at full sale, the crowd is crazy. Right. You know, and it's the old well, NXT, you know. And, and now, and, and, I don't know. Yeah. I mean, in my talks with um, with Damien, he, I, I think he brought up that NXT is kind of more toward the sport of wrestling Mm -hmm. and you know the main roster is more of the entertainment part sure um slowly i think nxt is kind of they've kept the sport but they've added they've added a level of entertainment almost too much entertainment like Uh, give me velveteen and that's all i need you know yeah trust i know it's pretty you know so yeah but this i i just miss You know, you'd like to think that the same fans bought tickets to this, and I believe it was SummerSlam after this. I, yeah, SummerSlam would have been the day after. Sure. So you'd like to believe it's the same fans, but you, yet you still get a different feel. Totally. It's like it's like people are like trained. Okay, this is how you cheer NXT. This is how you cheer WWE. You yeah. Know? It's like ah, just just appreciate good work, and and this is a match that I've. I've watched, oh, I don't know, probably ten times over the years. Mm-hmm. When I go back and I want to, and I want to watch, like, it just tells a whole story. It's like Bailey is the underdog, you know, which is great, cool. Bailey underdog, awesome. But we don't get that. We just don't get that anymore. I want, I want the story. I guess that's what yeah. I guess. You know, and the and the smartest thing that WWE did now, whether it was their decision or Sasha's decision when she's coming back after this hiatus, is changing the hair color. Yeah. That made it. It did. So when Michael Cole said on on Raw <laughs> that nobody's talking about the blue hair, it's like, dude, come Fish. on, man, turn on Twitter. We're all talking about it. Every Lord. Because. It's just something about that dark blue on her skin tone that, and, and what she was wearing that just is like, I don't know. It's It screams boss to me. Doesn't it, though? It's not stale anymore. It's nope. new. It's brand new. That's it's right. The same, it's the same Sasha that's always been, but it's a brand new Sasha that's basically got the cuffs off. Yep. You know? Um, yep. And I and I think if they do the same thing with Becky, take the cuffs off, let these two cut promos the way they cut promos without having somebody in their ear. Yeah. We are, we are in for some magical moments, I'm telling you. I just think- wish they would take that out. Because that promo that Sasha did on, on Raw when Michael Cole was interviewing her was not good because someone was in her ear. And it was cut back and forth and cut back and forth. That's not what Sasha can do. Right. But what... She- but that, to me, that interview was more about what she didn't say. No, I know. I get that part. I'm just saying in general, it could have been so much better. Oh, yeah. because In terms of going, production value. It didn't do right. her any favors. Right. Because if you go back to the beginning of the night, to the Becky promo, that was brilliant. It was beautiful. That was Becky being Becky. Yeah. So, yeah, I think once we get Sasha being allowed to be Sasha on the mic, yeah, it'll we're going to we're gonna see a full package because... The attack on Natty. Beautiful. I mean, that what that line? Go to hell, Natty. Tell your dad I say hi. Fuck me. It was that great. is a that is a that is a banger. It's great. Oh um, God, this match. Yeah. But this going back to the match that we're town. watching now, I mean, these two were innovative. Definitely. Even back in 2015. I mean, like this. I love this move. Me too. This double knees. It's amazing. Is she, is she going for it? Oh, she's not going to go for it. Oh, maybe she is going to go for it. Oh, she's going to go for a super double knee. Get her, girl. <coughs> Get her, girl. Yeah, I think that it looks better from the middle. but It does. 
Oh my god. Crush, you can't crap on her for trying it, right? Nope. Let her try it. Gotta try, boo boo. Gotta try. Okay. This frustrated Sasha, I love. Mm. Same. But for so many years on main roster, we got tears in the eyes frustrated Sasha, and I hate it. Yeah. Because that doesn't scream boss to me. Nope. Like, now she kicked out, and she's like, you think you're better than me? You think you're better than me? Like, just straight up in her face. I love it. Kicked her. Boom. Beautiful. Yeah, Beautiful storytelling. Beautiful moment. She's scrappy. Now she's going to come in here even though she's hurt. This is the type of storytelling in a match that that these two brought to NXT in a time where, I mean, this is a breakout moment for the women. It has a lot to do with them, Charlotte and Becky, pulling this out and being as they were in NXT and bringing that up to main roster. And Paige, too. You know, there's, there's, there's a lot of things happening at this time that, really really special and it's really cool to go back if like you haven't watched nxt to look at it and see how momentous and amazing this actually was right oh she's got dusty polka dot wrist stuff too see that um you know i didn't become that big of a charlotte fan until she hit the main roster i didn't really think and I, I guess I would have to go back a little bit more to the NXT and watch, but I it didn't something just didn't click for me when she was in X, in NXT. And Who was that? Charlotte. Oh, Charlotte in NXT. Yeah, yeah she clicked way more on main roster because that's where she belongs. Right. And she then, really honed her queenness when she came up. Um, right. It didn't click as well in NXT, I don't think, but. Yeah, she, once she hit Maine, it was a different story for her. Different story than for her than the rest of them, to be honest with you. Right. Um, you know, and that's the funny thing. You'd have, you'd have thought, you know, unfortunately, I think about a... Oh, Jesus. That's brutal. About a year before this, we lost... We didn't really... I, I guess we... The business, I should say, lost a very excellent performer in AJ Lee. Yes, um, very much so. Uh, her and Paige had some damn good main roster matches. Absolutely, that you could see the evolution, like starting. If you like, now you can. If you go back, sure, you can see it start with them. Yep. Um, but I think that uh, Sasha. Woo! And, oh, nice. What a move! It's just beautiful. It is beautiful. But I'm sorry. Go these, ahead. These four women, the four horse women. We're so polarizing. Yeah. And they wouldn't take no for an answer. Nope. You know, that um, that's where the evolution to me really got kicked off. You know, and I know that a lot of people will shit on me a lot for this, but Alexa Bliss played a big part in the evolution too. And nobody ever would have thought that watching her in NXT. Mm. I mean, I can see where you're coming from. She's not my favorite, but I'm not going to take anything away from her. God, she's such a boss. Like, how could they look at this character? I never want her to be different. Oh, damn. Yes. And and then change her. I know. I would never let her be different. (laughs) I'd just be like, do this, but more. <laughs> right. That, this I is the that thing was... that I don't like. They don't, they, when they do boss powerful women, they don't know how to do it. Because it's either evil, conniving, like Stephanie McMahon, manager style, or like just bitchy. Right. They don't have a real boss ass bitch. And if you don't know what I mean by that, I mean a true strong, in-your-face female. Like, Tessa Blanchard is a boss-ass bitch. 100%, but she's got nobody... That's what I'm saying. That's what you can have without the restrictions. 
WWE needs to embrace that. There are women out there who can be this way. They just need to let them be this way. That's all. And you'll get great stuff. Great stuff. Yeah, you know who else is a boss? Jordan Grace. Yeah. In a different way than Tessa. Different way. Different way, but Um, yes, absolutely. But Jordan Grace right now is not stepping down from from, uh, Jim Cornette. She is just full on. Full on, like, bring okay. It on, bring it on. I don't care what you say. <laughs> and, it, and it takes a boss ass bitch to do something like that. Actually, I want to buy Jordan's book. She's a book? Yeah, I think, <laughs> I think it's called, like, The DMs of a Female Professional Wrestler or something like that, where she put together all the crap, uh-huh. <laughs> crap DMs that she's gotten yeah, over the sure. years. Just see like the the determination in Bailey in her face and her eyes that she just nothing she can do can just oh beautiful so nice so good I didn't know Bailey had a tattoo I didn't either huh. I mean, not that it matters or anything. No, but it's interesting information, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See, now this is what I'm talking about. This is brilliant wrestling. Oh, good. This is this is this is what I was saying earlier. This is that storytelling <sighs> in the ring. So good. Oh, get her, get her. Look, she's gonna bite her. She's gonna like freaking rip her head right off of her body. Oh, look at the torque. Woo! Get it, Bailey. Come on, girl. You can swing your leg under there. Get out of that. Oh. So I remember I watching this for the first time. Yeah. I, I still do. I don't think I'll ever forget this takeover. There have been so many takeovers that I really love, but this was just so special, top to bottom. The card was great. Match after this is freaking grr, insane and amazing, but... This match is crazy. This was a this was a real showing about what women's wrestling can be. I think that's why I like it so much. Right, and I think that's why I appreciate it. Um, I it's it's hard. It's hard. Oh Jesus! Whoa. Oh belly to belly. That was a beautiful one, one. Two, and she kicked out. Is she the first one to kick out at that point of the belly to belly. To be honest with you, it's been so long, I don't really remember. Which, by the way, I absolutely I, I hate as a finisher, just because I think it's ironic <laughs> in some way. It's just, like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but it's like, I think Dusty said, if if you, if you, if your opponent sells your finisher, it's a finisher. Whether sure. it's a body slam a belly to belly, a suplex, you know. As long as they sell it. Yeah, no, I agree. Look at those. Uh, She's like uh, jello legs. Spaghetti legs. And, yeah. yeah. I forgot what I was going to ask now. Oh, what I was going to say is it's really hard for a man to be. I guess listened to or taken seriously when they talk about women's wrestling. Because a lot of it comes off as. Well, that's just a man talking. Right. You know, um, I think I think your friend uh, JPQ. Yeah. It's a oh. very big. Oh Jesus, that God. Did look that looked painful. Go he's ahead. a big supporter of the women's division, and I like hearing his commentary. Absolutely. Um, yeah. He's, you know, a lot of people can be crass, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, and then because a lot of people are crass, when somebody tries to be open and honest about how they truly feel about a woman performer, it it's like, oh well, that's because you're a man. It's like, no, it's because I'm I'm giving you an objective opinion. Right. You know? Um you know, there are some women that just aren't good. I know. Like Lacey Evans. Yep. Like great character. Don't need to see her in the ring. Yep. <laughs> She'd be a great manager. Yeah, you know? sure. So because she's she's the type of, of woman that can get heat without being in the ring. So, 
don't know. Hmm. Now we got a dueling let's go Bailey, let's go Sasha chant going on. I think that's about the point in the match that we're in. It's a house divided for sure. I remember being divided about it too. Yeah. Because I well, loved that... Bailey, but like Sa- there's just something about Sasha. I will always love Sasha. You can just see that they're they're tired, but they're not going to give up. Nope. Passion both, rolls through. Deep. You know what yeah. I mean? They're determined. I mean, look at them. Rapid fire elbows to the back of the head. So good, eh? I just, I'm not a big fan of the Bailey tassels. Oh, oh no. Oh, Jesus, a reverse Conrana landed right on amazing. top of her head. Good job, Bailey. Nailed that shit. Put that ponytail in, girl. Bailey to Bailey. You got her. Oh. One, two, One, three. three. And new. And, listen, and if you and if if you're watching along, I just want you to take two seconds. Go back to that. Turn on the volume and listen to this crowd when she wins. It's a great pop. The crowd goes bananas. Yeah. And it's not quiet. It's legit. They were at the edge of their seats. I was at the edge of mine. Sounds like yep. Queen was at the edge of hers. Oh, yeah. I still get chill bumps every time that happens. Oh. It's. Look fun. at them. They, they are so yes. thrilled. And then the front row is like, God damn it, Sasha. <laughs> this is. This is. What a moment this was, huh? What a moment it still is. Uh, I still, like, literally, I have chill bumps right now. It's so good. Kick to the face was just beautiful. Smash was beautiful. So I, I, I really have to say thank you for giving me this match after what I gave you last week. <laughs> um, That's a feel-good moment. You need a feel-good uh, moment after all that blood. <laughs> yeah. Like I, I, I enjoy when we get to uh, sit down and, and watch these because we, uh, me too, we have fun. But I'll tell you what, last week's episode almost made me throw up. Yeah, we didn't vomit this time. That's very exciting. Shit. You know what's great too is this match could have gone either way. That's the kind of shit that I like. There's a time and a place for squash matches, you know, all of that. But it's not like when you have two people neck and neck and you have no idea like what's gonna happen and you know what else is great about this match mm. it, it left you it left you wanting more oh yeah like i didn't want it to be over i wanted like give me more you know yeah i know it this was and a long match too where'd they go almost 30 minutes something like almost god that hmm I always get nervous when I see people do those. I know. That move is a little scary. Look at this. With authority, bitch. Yeah. Yes. Tried driving her through that ring. Finally, she got it. Oh, it's so good. It's so I, good. I want to see her lose that ponytail, though. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of over gotta it. got to go. Do some braids. Do something. Yep. It works here. It doesn't work now. Yeah. Oh, look at that belt. Woo! Gorgeous. I should add that belt to my list of belts that I want to put on my shelf. You should. Oh, Becky and Shar Shar. Look how different Charlotte looks. Oh, my God. Right. And Becky, too. With the reddish-orange hair. Which is where I think her hair should be. Charlotte looks taller on the main roster. She does. Oh, I like Becky's hair that color. I do too. It looks great. Finally happened. God, what a moment this was too. After the match, got these ladies out. Ooh, Lord. That's probably the best belly to belly she ever did. Yep. Uh, she felt it. She was in it. Mhm. Oh, look at this. Look at this. They're crying. I'm going to cry. Oh, man. This is when the, the other three went up, right? 
shortly after this? Shortly after this, yeah. You can't really come back as a character after this. No, you can't. Time to go. Ah, I'm going to cry. This picture is something that I've been begging for on the main roster. Yeah. The four. This is what I wanted to. Someday we got to have it. They're all up there. We got to. Ah, what a match. What an enjoyable moment. Just Good the stuff. possibility of things that you can do with a I know. I know. legit woman's faction. I know. Amazing. Oh, well, I, I don't want to be over. I know, but it is. <laughs> and that means we're out of here. So, for Pops and I, thank you so much for watching along, and we will see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.